Hi guys, Ambry here with Love Body Health and Fitness Coaching. Today I'm bringing to you a few exercises I like to do to help fill out those hip dips. So to begin, we're gonna be going to the wall and we're gonna be holding onto it like this. We're gonna start with our right foot and I'm gonna turn around and show you how your body should be aligned. We're gonna have the foot straight in front of us and your knee, I don't want it shifting inward. Make sure to rotate that out and actually when we rotate that out, we're engaging that glute medius right here and we wanna keep that engaged the entire time. So as we go into the movement, you're gonna feel a pull right here. That's the muscle we wanna work out and you're gonna be mindful of your knee. So look at it the entire time while we do this if you really wanna make sure you strengthen and protect that knee. I'm gonna bend my arm at 90 degrees and I'm gonna put it right here against the wall and I'm gonna put my foot wherever my hand is for stability. Again, I'm keeping those toes straight forward. I'm turning the knee outward and I'm pressing through the heel. That's where my weight should be during this movement. I'm gonna take a step back, again, engaging that glute meat, keeping my knee and my toes in alignment, and I'm gonna extend my body back, going into a tabletop, looking down at the ground, almost like I'm parallel with the floor. I'm really engaging that muscle. I'm gonna bring it back up, nice and slow, Engage at gluten medius. Make sure that knee is right stacked above the feet and we're gonna come back down. Small little movement, you might already feel it shaking. Oftentimes we don't work out that muscle enough and it can be super weak. And I'm just gonna be looking at my knee placement during this and I want you to do the same. Bringing it up. Don't pay too much attention if you're going down all the way. What really matters is you're paying attention to your form. And I'm just gonna bring that up nice and slow. I feel a little pull through here. As you come down, you're gonna feel your hamstrings lengthen. This is so good for the cellulite on the back of the legs too. You'll find when you start wearing shorts, this whole area is gonna look a lot more tight and toned. Bringing down. As you build your strength, you can add a weight to your hand and hold the weight as you come down, keeping your hand brushed against the knee, keeping your body in alignment. Awesome. We're gonna do two more of these. Again, bringing the hand close to the knee, facing straight down. And I wanna make sure I'm shifting my hips so they're square with the floor. So I noticed I started to rock a little to the right. I'm gonna shift back to center so my body weight is centered, making sure I'm engaging that, rotating my knee outward. Again, these are little things that you have to be super mindful about. It's not easy. It's gonna take a lot of mental work. So this is not an exercise you can mindlessly do in the gym. And come back up one last time. Awesome. We're gonna shift over to the other side. We're gonna put our right hand on the wall or stabilizing surface, 90 degrees. And now I'm gonna put my left foot on the ground. I'm gonna get that straight forward, rotate that knee outward, engaging the glute medius, and we're gonna come down on that, making sure we're keeping our hips square to the floor during this movement. You might find that one side is actually more in alignment than the other. Or maybe you've been engaging them properly the whole time during this and it'll be super easy. I just find that a lot of women have super weak gluten mediuses when they do a lot of their leg workouts. They're not mindful of the form. So they're not engaging properly. This is why it's so important to have a personal trainer before you start lifting heavy weights in the gym where they can teach you that proper form and prevent any kind of injury. And come back up. Right now we're building our solid foundation. Again, over time, feel comfortable adding weights, but make sure you can effortlessly do these before doing so. And back down, square the hips to the floor, engage that gluten medius, and back up. Few more of these. Breathe. These might not be fun power workouts, but honestly, it's so good to work on the stability of your body and the function of it first before we even get into that. 
If you're doing a cardio workout where you have jump squats and you're not landing properly on your knees, let's say they have that valgus turn going inward, that is really gonna cause some injury and pain in the long run. Your knees are your friends, so take care of them and treat them well. Just don't rush into a workout because you need to burn the calories. We wanna give our body love before we give it that kind of stress. This is the last one. Come back up, squeeze. Awesome, you guys did it. First movement done, we're gonna head into our second movement, which is gonna be a high knee and a curtsy combo. So when I do this, again, I wanna have my hand placement against the wall. I'm trying to hold on to a stabilizing surface to make sure that my muscles are engaged properly. I'm gonna put my hand against the wall like we did in the last movement. My leg is gonna be centered with that hand and I'm gonna start with my right foot grounded to the floor first, pressing through my heel the entire time here. My toes are straight forward. My knee is shifted to the side as I'm engaging that glute medius. And I'm gonna take a step back into a curtsy lunge and I'm gonna come down. And this is so important that we don't move our knee inward during this movement, which can be so easy to do when we mindlessly do these motions. So again, externally rotate that leg using our abductor muscle, the glute medius. We're gonna come down, we're putting extra stress on that muscle. This is really gonna help build it. And we're gonna move nice and slow up as we slowly tear this muscle apart. And we're gonna come back down, keeping that knee rotated outward by engaging the glute medius and come back down. Come up, squeeze, really showing that glute some love and back down. These are to be done nice and slow. We're gonna repeat this a few times. Make sure those toes are straight forward. I'm putting all my weight in my heels right now. It already burns. If you can't do the full set of these, that's okay. Your muscle might be a little weak. Do what you can. Over time, come back to this workout. Repeat it twice a week if you'd like. Or pick a few of these movements and repeat them every single day. If you have really weak glute medius, you'll see a big change, especially in that rotation of your knee and down. If you're doing cardio workouts online, again, make sure to be mindful of how your knee is moving. We wanna get the most out of these as possible. So if you want that nice round looking bum, then you're really gonna have to make sure you're engaging the right muscles to get it. They're not just gonna grow on their own. We have to actively participate in our workout. We're gonna do one more here. Come back up. Squeeze. Awesome, I'm gonna turn it around to the other side. Getting that hand position on the wall. I'm gonna work on my left foot now. Toes facing forward, pressing through the heel. Externally rotate that knee. So we're gonna come back into our curtsy. Again, putting all that weight in the heel. Make sure your knees and shift it above your toes. Keep it back, keep it out. Come back up, nice and slow. Squeeze and come back down, weight in the heel. Knee is rotated outward. Glute meat is engaged. Up and squeeze, lift that chest nice and tall. Engage those abs and those back muscles and come back down. Awesome. Now this is something that you're gonna have to be mindful of again the whole time and I can't stress that enough. Too many people doing workouts the wrong way online. Again, if you're gonna keep doing these, make sure you're watching my videos Paying attention to my form, paying attention to your form when you do them. If you need to, pause the video and align with any workout that you do. There's no need to rush through it quickly. Just because they are doesn't mean you have to. Squeeze. All right, we're gonna do three more. Squeeze. Down, back up. You can aim for about eight to 15 of these. Again, we're not trying to do any certain reps and sets. You just have to see what feels great for your body. Definitely be repeating these a few times a week though. 
if you have a weak glued medius, so again, you have those hip dips, most likely you have a weak glute medius. And we're gonna come down, awesome. Now we're gonna bring it onto the floor. We're gonna be doing some bridges, but a different kind of bridge. We're gonna be rotating those legs outward as we bridge. Laying down on the mat, we're going to go up on our toes and we're gonna lift our glutes off of the mat as well. Once you engage that glute medius by moving the legs outward, squeezing up, we're gonna come up and squeeze, and we're gonna keep this here. We're gonna shift our legs outward. My heels are inward, my toes are pointing out just like so, and I'm coming back in, keeping this motion, squeezing my glutes. You're gonna feel them right here, and I'm squeezing, and I'm contracting them the whole time. We're not going up and down. We're gonna keep ourselves in this lifted position. This is like a bridge abductor. So if you've seen those people on those abduction machines, you've used a band to bring your legs in and out. This does the same thing. These are one of my favorite movements to really get a nice round peachy looking butt and to also make sure I'm strengthening the glute medius. Awesome. Nice and slow. We don't need to go fast here. Most, ex most exercises you do, you actually don't need to go fast unless they're cardio. The slower you go, the better for a lot of movements. Oftentimes with that eccentric, the lengthening movement is when we really want to go slow. That's when we are breaking apart the muscle. And while we break it apart, Again, we eat protein, carbohydrates, we repair it, we refuel, and we build it back even stronger than before. Breathe, a few more here. Last one, out. Really feel that contraction. Your glute should be shaking right now, unless they're really strong, mine are shaking. We're gonna lay it back down. For our next movement, we're gonna keep our heels planted on the mat. I want you to look at your foot positioning. They have to be straight forward, toes straight forward, so feet are parallel to each other. We're gonna make sure we stay in that position during this. And we're gonna find a nice positioning of our back on the mat. I want you to press up through your heels, bringing your glutes to the ceiling, and then we're gonna engage the glute medius by bringing our legs outward and firing up through the sides of our glutes, right there. We're gonna come up, and as you come down, keep those legs outward. Awesome, nice and wide. They should be nice and wide this whole time. Great. So help protect the knees. Keep them wide, nice and slow. I want you to try to avoid bringing your glutes all the way down onto the floor. We're gonna keep them slightly lifted. If you need to, you can take a moment and rest them there. I'm just gonna keep mine up like so. My glutes are burning. <laughs> Yours may be on fire after this as well. Up and squeeze, come up as tall and as high as you can. Really lift those hips towards the ceiling. Come down nice and slow. Knees rotate outward, keeping your feet on the mat the entire time. Three more. Come down. Two. Squeeze up high, hold. Come back down. Knees go out to the side. Back up, we're gonna hold, bring it up even higher and hold for five, four, bring those knees out. Three, two, one, back down, nice and slow. Knees come out, knees stay out, relax. For our next movement, we're gonna be laying right against the wall. So if you're not against a wall right now, I want you to find one. And we're literally going to position our whole body on the side against the wall. Coming down, I want your back pressed up against the wall, your hips against the wall, your glutes against the wall, everything against the wall. And we're going to be lifting our right leg first. So laying with the left leg down, we're going to be lifting the right leg. And we wanna keep that heel against the wall, 
you want, you can wear socks, something that'll help you move easier. And we're gonna bring that leg up and just glide it up against the wall. And when we get to the top, I want you to externally rotate that, really working that glute medius. And we're gonna bring it down nice and slow. And we're gonna bring it back up. And as we come up, rotate that at the very top. And we're just gonna bring that back down to straighten it, making the side of the foot parallel with the floor. And just keep this up. These are gonna be unique for everybody. Just do as many as you can. You'll start feeling that glute medius shake over time, especially as you bring it down. Just make sure to breathe. You can lay your head flat against your arm, whatever feels most comfortable for you, doesn't really matter. And just bring it up. Hold for a moment, bring it back down nice and slow, almost like you're pressing the back of that heel against the wall. And up, pressing, pressing, pressing my heel against the wall, externally rotating that, ooh, I feel the burn. Bring it back down, you got this. We are only using gravity as our weight right now. Isn't that incredible? A few more times. Externally rotate. Bring it back down. You want more of a challenge as your glute medius gets stronger, you can add an ankle weight on. Try to refrain from putting a band around here. Bands are automatically gonna internally rotate our knee, so unless you're super strong, try to avoid using a band during this movement. Last one. Hold up here for five, four, three, two, one. Nice and slow, bring it back down. We're gonna switch on over to the opposite side. So just lay your head in reverse against the wall. Okay, putting my back against the wall again. Hips against the wall. Stacking the left leg on top of the right. Make sure your back is fully flush with the wall. Awesome. And this really helps keep our body in alignment during this movement. Let's lift that left leg up again, pressing the heel against the wall and externally rotate that foot at the top, bringing it back down nice and slow. And then bring it to meet the right foot. Awesome. And back up. Externally rotate and bring that back down. Now this movement may be easiest if you do it against a glass door with socks on for that gliding motion, but I'm doing it against the wall right here with a bare foot. It's fine, it's just your personal preference. Nice and slow. This is one of those movements that you can do about every day help strengthen this area. Again, if you feel too sore, give it a day's rest. We worked a lot out today, so make sure to wait at least two days before repeating this exercise again. Try to bring it up as high as you can next time. Up. Whew. Bring it back down a few more. Last one. Hold, three, two, one. Bring it down nice and slow. Awesome. And that concludes our workout for the day. I can barely sit up. My glute meads are so sore. Thank you so much for joining me for today's workout. Hip dips are so common because people fail to actually activate the right muscles as they work out. So I hope this increased your awareness regarding that 
outer glute. So next time you think you're just gonna work out booty, remember that the glute mead is part of it. The glute mead has its own needs too, and make sure you're not forgetting about him. Again, save this workout, try it out with me a few times. I try to do these as often as I can, and let's push each other to do them. Send this to a friend who you think has hip dips or needs to strengthen their glute mead. If you wanna to get to know more about me, head over to lovebodycoaching.com. Follow me on social media. I'd love to get to know you guys even more. Let me know your suggestions for future workouts in the comments below and let me know how you like this workout. I hope to see y'all in my very next video. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. This video is brought to you by our loyal patrons who help to keep our cameras rolling. To show our appreciation, we produce tons of exclusive content just for our patrons. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. Start your 14-day free trial today by clicking the link below.